So let's take a look at the direct offline processing and edit channel settings functions of new window 10. So if we look at my project again, you can um, process a little review. If you, uh, if you have a clip here or an uh, event, if I zoom a little bit by pulling on the uh, cursor, you can double click anywhere within the, the fade section here and you can access your, uh, your fade and just apply it. You can uh, uh, select a preset if you'd like. That's one way to do it. You can just apply it, right? Now, if you right click on this section here, you'll have different options, but let's say you'd like to process this clip. So now I'm, I'm on the object tool, number one. Uh, you can see the red frame around the event, the selected event. So I right click anywhere within that selected event. I can, let's say, I'd like to process fit in instead of laying on top. Then the direct offline processing sound effect will come up automatically, which is this window here. And you can see my fade, uh, fade in here, right? And again, you can apply your preset. You could do uh, auto apply, which I would not recommend because you want to actually hear it and uh, in the loop back, maybe in, in here first, uh, if that's the right fade or the right effect for the clip. And then you can just apply it. So it will just automatically apply that fade. And as you can see, it actually adds it, a name here and it just process that fade for the clip. Now it's, it's permanently printed, right? Now, other functions you have here is uh, extended process range in milliseconds and also a, a tail in millisecond, maybe for reverb or, or delay or things like that. Now, let's say I want to add more processing to this. Just fade in, it fade out. It's great. But uh, let's, uh, let's add some other things. I can select a preset. I can just go to plugin and let's say maybe, uh, maybe we do a, a stereo delay since uh, it's a stereo track. It would automatically open in here. Then again, you can just preview it by just playing play and see hear it, how it sounds. And let's say you uh, you really like it. Once you do your tweaking, you can just apply that. And automatically, you can see just add another another functions here. Now I'm just doing another process. I'm going to reverse that entirely. Now uh, I have three processes, but let's just say you know this is great, but I, I just want the reverse before the stereo delay, right? And maybe what I want to do after this, and maybe I want to add a compressor to this. So I can just go and say, um, uh, go to dynamic, and then I'm going to add a compressor. We apply it. Boom. It's right there. Now I can do again. I can do the compressor before the reverse. I can, any combinations I want can be done from here. Now let's say I really like what I did here, and I say, well, this is this is a great processing. I really like to compress, reverse, and stereo delay. I'm just gonna um, drop it in here, and uh, and it's gonna be my favorite. And I'm gonna name it uh, "Cool Stuff." And so now this process is, you know, a favorite. So I can just grab it for another clip and just apply the exact same process, or maybe say, oh, well, I like this process to start with, but I. But you know, I might just put the compressor on the end, or uh, maybe a different stereo delay. Uh, you know, so all very, very flexible, and it stays with the projects, which means that you can close the projects, uh, come back maybe a, a month later, and I like this uh, process, but I, I'd like to change a little bit. Now you can go back and change the process. All the processes uh, that you did on the clip will be listed here. Now, the other way to, uh, to open the direct uh, processing uh, is, uh, put it on the, I put it on the uh, toolbars here. There's a function called, uh, and if you're going to get an upper right corner here, uh, it's a media and mix console window, which I like to have on my toolbar because you have direct processing, which you can access anytime here for any, obviously, selected clip or selected event. But you also have access to Media Bay, which we looked at earlier, uh, the pool we looked at earlier, uh, the mix console, which we're gonna it's gonna be next, and the control room, which you also have accessible in here. On the on the lowest on the right zone, excuse me. Okay, so now let's take a look at the edit channel setting, which is on any uh, channel type that you have within your project, is this little E. And so if you click on it, you can get a, essentially a, a 
overall view of all the processing done on the channel, on the selected channel. So you can go uh, up and down, so you can go to the previous console. You don't have to close and open uh, the channel setting for each channel. You can just go up and down here and, and uh, navigate your channels. You can search for a, a target channel that you want to access. Uh, on the left side, you have the insert, actually 16 insert. You have your strip right here. If you click on this, you have your channel strip which you can have, you know, different options, different compressor available, saturation, etc. You can also move, change the order. You might want to put the EQ uh, before the compressor or after uh, maybe the saturations. So all that is very flexible. Just drag and drop in the position you want it. You have a four-band EQ. You can control here. That you can see is going to uh, a stereo uh, output bus. You can see your sand, your Q sand right here destinations. You have a du direct routing, so it's been routed to a stereo master, but you could also route it to a 5.1 master if you'd like. Uh, on the upper right corner, you have function menus. You have preferences, essentially, uh, what, what you want for the window to look like. Something I like to select is always on top, which allows me to click on the project window and back to the edit without hiding the, the window here. Another function that I like is the show output chain. So it will show you then which uh, effect channel has been bused to the stereo master. Now, if I had a group and effect channels, it will show here the uh, output chain directly from here. 